Here's a rusted tool. I'm gonna electrolytically use a water bath and a DC power supply and some salts and electroplating techniques to remove the rust from this tool and then nickel plate it so that it doesn't corrode like this. Okay, you can see we're using around 12 and a half volts, 0.42 amps. And what I'm doing here is I'm just reducing the rust off here where the hydrogen is evolving from this part. I'm using a copper plated nickel strip as the anode and the part as the cathode. And I'm gonna use the same process on a nickel bath here in a few minutes after I get all the rust off. See rust particles floating off there. Um, what I'm gonna do, and I have to sharpen them after this, but I'm gonna nickel plate the, the part also after I electrolytically clean it. We can see that the process is proceeding. What's happening here is hydrogen is evolving off the tool and the anode is being oxidized. That's green copper oxide that you're seeing there. And what it's doing is it's breaking the iron oxide off of the iron or steel tool. So I would normally do electroplating at about 1.2 volts, but what I'm doing is electro stripping rust, so the higher voltage is okay. We're trying to restore this tool. In case you're wondering, I just made this with water from a water bottle like this and sodium bicarbonate or baking soda for the salt. I could use table salt, but that would emit chlorine gas, so not a good idea. Let me just use sodium bicarbonate. I think it's cool to see the ion release of the um, hydrogen gas there. It's fun. That's what's stripping the rust off. The anode emits electrons, which is why the wire and the anode there is turning green and corroding. Oxidation was lost, reduction is gain. So the part here is gaining electrons, which allows the um, iron oxide to combine with the hydrogen uh, and reduce the iron to get rid of the rust. Okay, I've pulled the tool out, you can see here. I wiped it off with some paper towel. It's dramatically cleaned up. We'll run it a little longer, get some of that deeper pitting and rust out of there, and then give it a nice nickel plate. Okay, I gave the tool a light sanding with some 100 grit paper from 3M here, and this is, I clean the electrode of the copper oxide too. And if we give it a quick peek here, you can see it looks a lot better now. It's a much cleaner. Most of the rust is gone. It's time for a nickel bath after I wipe it off, but I'll let it let it de-rust a little longer. Pop it back in here like that. Let me see we're, what we're doing is just uh, removing all the rust. That's my acetic acid nickel bath here, and I'm going to use it with what I call a Christmas tree nickel electrode here. And what we're going to do is ion deposit nickel onto the steel tool. Now we're doing very low voltage, 1.6 volts, 0.16 amps. Electroplating. And what I've done is I've built a little nickel tree electrode on copper wire. What we're gonna do here is electroplate this part in nickel. All right, we got a thin layer of nickel over everything here. A little copper in with that nickel. Cooper nickel coating. Most of the rest is gone. You can see I can easily open and close the tool now. It was almost seized up when I got to it, so this is greatly improved. So electro cleaning with a little electro plating 
Ooh, it's not a perfect restoration. We could make it more beautiful than that, but you know what? That's good enough for now. Thanks for watching. Cheers.